Hello, brothers, sisters, friends. Welcome to another Coffee Moments with the Father. And uh, in today's reflections from the Book of Mark, I entitled the topic, The Right Perspective. We in life need to have the right perspective about things, especially spiritual things. I like to read a verse from the Book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 1 to 4. As Jesus was leaving the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Look, teacher, what massive stones, what magnificent buildings. Do you see all these great buildings? Jesus replied, Not one stone here will be left on another. Everyone will be thrown down. As Jesus was sitting on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will these things happen? And when will be the sign that they are about to be fulfilled? We find here, this is the time where it was approaching to the last days of Jesus. And as Jesus was coming out of Jerusalem, the disciples were looking at all the buildings and they couldn't help but to marvel at the wonderful buildings around them. And they told Jesus, Look, Jesus, so beautiful. Jesus, did you see Herod's palace? Jesus, did you see that house over there? It's incredible. Such a big garden. Jesus, did you know the temple? incredibly built and they were marveling at all these things and then Jesus says look at all these buildings great as it is one day it will be all thrown down Jesus had to teach them the right perspective you see it's great to marvel great things beautiful things wonderful things but we in life need to marvel at the right things. So often, we as human beings, we marvel at what? Wealth, power, glory. We want all those things. And sometimes we sacrifice or we compromise our relationship with God for this thing. And then we forgot what really matter. When I think about that, forgetting about what really matter and not having the right perspective, I think about a story about a doctor. His name is Dr. Richard Teo, who is a plastic surgeon. And he came to realize his wrong perspective about life and his wrong decision that he made. Let me read to you the news in the newspaper. The title of the news is Late Millionaire Surgeon's Last Words on Money, Ferraris and True Joy by Dr. Richard Teo. In this news it says he had everything by the time he was in his 30s. Wealth measured in millions of dollars. A thriving plastic surgery practice. Sport cars, including a Ferrari 430. Money by Dr. Richard Teo King Xiang's own admission was everything. Since young, his driving ambition was to win. And true winning reaped the rewards of a good life. In medicine, he chose the quick way to the big bucks by switching from ophthalmology to aesthetics. It paid handsomely. In the first year, his cosmetic surgery was racking in millions. But in March 2011, Dr. Teo, a light smoker, was struck down by terminal lung cancer and his attitude changed. When the music is over, Dr. Teo realized that happiness did not come from enriching oneself. 
Joy comes from celebrating life with those around you, whether with laughter or sorrow. And it is his message, not his riches, has become his legacy. Dr. Teo's message was simple, powerful, but moving. Only because it was plain and simple. Life is too short to neglect those around you. Here is a sad news about a surgeon, a plastic surgeon, who pursued after wealth, who had the wrong perspective about life, and forgot about doing the right thing. And the news said that he had everything, big cars, condo, Ferraris, and he was having money to the millions. But he did not care for the people around him. And he had the wrong perspective, the wrong choices in life. And at the very end of life, when he was struck by cancer, in his early 30s, he finally regretted it. And he realized life is too short. I'm going to read you a powerful quotation that Dr. Seo said. I cannot hug my Ferrari to sleep. No, it is not going to happen. Wow, what a perspective. To realize, yes, wealth, power, glory are great. But that's not what's really important. What's really important, brothers, sisters and friends, is our own relationship with God and our relationship with the people around us, and whether we have helped society or not. You know, as you read this story, as you think about this story, reflect on your life. Have you chosen the right choice? Do you have the right perspective in life where you choose to be close to God rather than compromising on your relationship with God? Thank you once again for spending time with me with another Coffee Moments with the Father. And I hope this helped you to gain the right perspective in life where you choose what is more important, what matters, than what is temporary. Choosing to love God, love the people around you, and to help and to serve society and to take care of the needs of many. See you next week.